Hi friends, in this video we are going to talk about how to automate word to pdf conversion in python using LibreOffice. You know I have already made a video on how to convert word to pdf using docs to pdf python module. But docs to pdf requires Microsoft Office to be installed on your machine. So there are some issues with this. The first thing is Microsoft Office is not free and the next thing is you can't have Microsoft Office on Linux. So you can't use docs to pdf if you don't have a Microsoft Office license or if you are on Linux. So that is why this time let's try to use LibreOffice which can be installed on Windows, Linux and Mac to convert word files to PDF files using Python. So what is LibreOffice actually? So basically LibreOffice is MS Office which is free. It's open source and you don't need to pay anything to install this. So it has all the equivalent programs like Word, Excel, PPT etc. So I have installed LibreOffice in my PC and let me show you how it looks like. So if you write LibreOffice after installation, you can see LibreOffice Calc which is Excel, LibreOffice Writer which is Word, LibreOffice Draw which is like a PPT. So let's try to open LibreOffice Writer. So it's basically like MS Word. But LibreOffice is free. Alright, why are we installing LibreOffice actually? LibreOffice provides command line interface to automate processes. In our case, we are trying to convert Word files to PDF using the LibreOffice command line. Alright. Just for those people who don't know how to install LibreOffice, if you're on Windows, just go to the LibreOffice page and go to the download page and you can download LibreOffice for Windows. This is the early adapter version and this is the stable version. Just go ahead and download for Windows, that's all. And if you're on Mac, just go to the Mac and click on download and you can install LibreOffice on Mac. And if you're on Ubuntu, just write sudo apt update and sudo apt install LibreOffice, no install recommends. So since we are using LibreOffice just for PDF conversion, I have added this flag no install recommends. Anyways, I will show you how to install LibreOffice on Linux in a while. But now let's go with Windows. Alright, I have installed LibreOffice in my PC. And now how can I use LibreOffice to convert Word to PDF? As I told you, LibreOffice provides a command line interface to perform tasks using the command line without opening any window. And here is a command which can be used to convert Word files to PDF. This is the path of the LibreOffice executable for LibreOffice write and here you write minus minus headless convert to PDF and this is the output directory and at the end you provide the input file path that's all. So let's try to play with this. So let's try to run this command and see how it works. So I've got a blank folder. Let's try to create a word file here. So I've created a Microsoft Word document. Let me write it test one and let's try to write something here and let's try to save this word file. Now I will use the LibreOffice command line to convert this word file into a PDF file. Now I'm going to open the command window here. So if I do dir, I have a file called test1.docs. So in order to do the conversion, you need the swriter.exe. So let's go to the program files and see where it is. So I'm in the C program files LibreOffice and here you have the program and here you got the swriter.exe there it is so you need this exe file to do the conversion so let's try to copy the path of this so i'm going to right click click on properties go to the security tab and just copy this path all right now i got the path of sriter.exe the next thing is i need to do the pdf conversion right so for that you need to write minus minus headless minus convert to pdf and then let's give the path of the input file so the path of the input file will be test1.docs and here, just like that, you got the PDF file. So if I just open this PDF file, you can see all the content in the Word file. And now let's see a couple of options here. I've just written test1.docs, right? So you can even mention the absolute path of the document. So let's try to remove test1.docs and write the path of test1.docs. So let's try to remove this PDF file so that we can run again. So I'm pasting the path of the input file, but the absolute path here. So let's try to run this again. You got test1.pdf. So I have given the absolute path of the word file here. And the next thing is, if you want to specify the output folder, you can even do that. So let's go to the previous command and let's try to specify the output folder. So the output folder should be given using a flag called minus minus outdiv. So I'm going to write minus minus outdiv. And here you should give the path of the output directory. So let's try to create a folder here. And let me name it out. So I want the output to be present in this folder. So I can just write dot backslash out I can give relative path let's click enter 
and now in the output file you got the PDF let's try to delete it again and let's give the absolute path to the folder so I'm going to copy the absolute path and instead of giving a relative path here which is dot backslash out I can give an absolute path so let's give the absolute path to the output directory alright I've given a complete absolute path of the output directory and let's try to run this command again and you got test1.pdf created here and it has a content of the word file so in summary the command is really simple first write the path of the srwriter.exe then say headless convert to pdf and if you want to specify the output directory just give minus minus out there and give the path of the output directory and then at the end give the path of the document your output directory can be a relative path and your input document file path can also be a relative path and you would have noticed while using the command line I am using the inverted commas because if your path has spaces in it you have to give inverted commas so that the command line will understand that this whole thing is a single path so that's it just in a single line you have converted a word file into PDF file using the library office command line interface alright now let's run this command line interface from Python so that I can do my automation and now let's try to open this folder in VS code and write some Python code alright let's try to create a new file I'll just name it index.py alright how can you run a command from Python further there is a module called subprocess so I'm gonna write import subprocess and then let's try to construct our command in Python so this is the path of the library office right we just found it now C program files library office program srwriter.exe and I have given double backslash because backslash is escape character so you have to do double backslash here if you don't want to give double backslash just write R here and you can remove this double backslash alright now let's try to give the path of our input file so I'm gonna say document path a variable equal to this path of the input file so this is our output folder path so alright we got all the variables the path of library office the document path and the output folder path and one more thing to remember is you can't control the name of the output PDF file it will be the same as the input word file but if your requirement is to change the name of the PDF file you can always do it using Python alright now let's try to construct our command so this is our command you know while using sub process you have to split your command by spaces actually the command is first library office path then headless then convert to then PDF then out there and the path of the output directory and then the path of the input word file so all of this should be given separately in a list so that's what we have done here we given the office path headless convert to PDF out there and the path of the output folder and then the path of the input document file all right we got our command ready so we have to run the command from Python so for that we have imported sub process and if you don't want to extract the output from a sub process you can just call subprocess.call and just give the command line so I'm gonna give command strings and you'll get a written code so if the written code is zero then the command has run successfully that means our word file would have been converted into PDF so I can do a small check here so I'm gonna write if written code equal to zero PDF conversion is completed else I can write looks like there is an error in PDF conversion and the error code was this one all right that's it that's a bare minimum code in Python to convert a word file to PDF and now let's try to run our Python code to see whether a PDF file will be generated in this output folder so I'm going to just run this index.py and here you got your test1.pdf let's try to open this test1.pdf and see the content is the same as the word file so now you have successfully converted a word file into a PDF file using the library office command line from Python and if you want to convert 100 documents you can just do that using a for loop take a list of document paths iterate a for loop and run this command again and again and you can convert 100 word files to PDF you can encapsulate this whole thing into a function and use that in your Python website or script etc so that's it that's how simple it is to convert a word file into PDF in Python using the library office command line and remember the output folders here or the input document paths here can be relative paths that means I can always give this document path as dot backslash test one dot docs this is a relative path of the document right so you can even give the relative paths and in the same way you can even give the output folder as relative path also that means you can write dot backslash out as the output folder path all right that's how you can do conversion in windows 
let's try to do this in Linux also. Hey, before using LibreOffice in Ubuntu, let's try to install it actually. Since I don't have a virtual machine of a Ubuntu, I'm using the WSL, which is Windows subsystem for Linux, which can run Ubuntu distros from Windows. So I've already installed Ubuntu in my Windows WSL. So I'm going to go to the home directory and now I'm in home. So I'm running Ubuntu in Windows using WSL. So if you don't know what WSL or Windows subsystem for Linux is, or if you don't know how to install Windows subsystem for Linux in Windows, I've already made video on that and I will leave the link of that video in the description. So you can check it out how to install WSL in Windows. All right, but for now, we're going to use this Ubuntu to install LibreOffice in Ubuntu. So first thing first, let's try to update our repositories. So I'm going to write sudo apt update. And the next thing is for LibreOffice to run, you need Java. So let's try to install the JRE and let's try to install LibreOffice Java common. This is required to avoid some warnings while running the command line. You know, before installing the default JRE, you can even check whether JRE is installed in your Linux machine or not. Let's do that first actually. So to check if Java is installed, you can write Java minus version and you can see I already got OpenJDK installed in my machine. If you don't have the JRE or JDK installed, you can write sudo apt install default JRE. And in addition to that, I'm also installing the LibreOffice Java common because it is required to create output without warning while running the LibreOffice command line. So I'm going to just run this sudo apt install default JRE LibreOffice Java common. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes. So that's it. First, we have updated our packages, installed the Java, and now we'll install LibreOffice. So I'm going to go ahead and run the command sudo apt install LibreOffice no install recommends. Actually, this is sufficient but no install recommends will not install some recommended packages because we are using the bare minimum library office to convert word file to pdf file so if you just run this and click yes hey you got library office installed in your ubuntu machine just with command all right we've got our library office installed in ubuntu now we have to run the command to do the conversion right so let's try to keep a word file in this ubuntu machine and let's try to convert that word file to pdf using the library office command line since I'm using WSL in Windows, I can actually view the file system from Windows only. I just click on this Linux and here I got my Ubuntu distro and here I'm using the home folder and here let's try to create a new folder. I'll just name it library test and let's try to create a word file here actually. So I'm going to write it test.docs and let's try to open this and write something. So I just created a test word document. I'm going to close it. And now I have a word file in the home James library test folder, right? So let me create a new folder here. I'll just name it out. So let's say run the library office command line to convert this test.docs and place the output in this out folder. So the command line is really simple. I'm going to write library office minus minus headless minus minus convert to PDF and then give the path of the input document file. So the path would be slash home slash james slash test.docs sorry it was library test folder and then let me give the path of the output directory also so i'm gonna write minus minus out there and let's try to copy the same thing here and it should go into the slash out directory all right the command is the same library office headless convert to pdf the input document file and then minus minus out there, the output folder path so let's try to run this and here the conversion is completed Let's load the folder and see whether it's completed or not. In the out, you got test.pdf and that's it. You got your PDF converted. So just like in Windows, you can run the command in Ubuntu also to convert word file to PDF using LibreOffice. And now in Ubuntu, let's try to write a Python code to do this from Python. Actually, the code will be almost the same. And let's try to open VS code from Ubuntu. For that, you can have the WSL extension installed and I'm clicking on the WSL I'm connecting to the WSL distro and you can see I've been connected to the Ubuntu distro running in my WSL. So if you just open this, I can open the folder. The folder is library test and okay. And now I opened the Ubuntu folder in my VS code and I got the input file test.docs here. Let's try to open this and delete the test.pdf. And now let's try to create a new file. I'll just name it index.py. All right, let's try to copy the same thing from Windows here. So in our case, the library office path is not required in Ubuntu. You can just write library office here and then remove this. And then the document path here was 
notice in ubuntu we required forward slashes so i'm going to path in forward slash here and the output folder is i think that's it you're going the document path the output folder path and the command is constructed here and you're just calling the sub process to convert this test dot docs and let's try to run this code now in wsl and hey the conversion is completed let's try to see in output you got the test dot pdf let's try to open the pdf and now you can see the word file is converted to pdf so that's it basically almost the same code can be used in linux also so that's it guys this is how you can use library office in ubuntu also to convert word file to pdf file the same thing would be applicable in mac also but i don't have mac right now so i'm not showing the mac demo but we have completed the demo for windows and ubuntu to convert word files to pdf file using library office so now in the end you're using all open source softwares without needing to buy anything to convert your word files to pdf files in bulk using python so that's it guys you can see i've created a blog post on converting word files to pdf files using library office in python I've also given the notes on how to install, how to convert using Python so that you can copy paste and practice it in your own computer. I've also given you the reference to the official library office command line documentation. You can do further reading here to do other automation tasks also using library office command line. And we should also take time to appreciate library office which is a very great open source office productivity suit. Please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.